Hello everyone, in this video we are going to address anorexia and bulimia from a spiritual perspective. Okay, so let's go to my other little resource here. Anorexia. Feels totally unable to please parent, usually the mother. Feels unable to live up to expectations of others. Feelings of self-rejection, self-hatred. Lack of spiritual understanding of knowing yourself. Don't know how to love self or be self. Your soul wants to leave. Self-destruction. Now, I personally can speak on this one a little bit. Now, I was never full-blown anorexic. And my issue was never a body issue. I never thought I was fat or anything like that. Um, when I, when I was younger and this was more of an issue. Um, but I have always had, um, issues with my mother. Um, I've always felt unable to live, to live up to expectations because of my stepfather. Um, and an ongoing thing throughout most of my life is that I have not known how to be myself. The Lord has made progress uh, in me in that area in the last maybe two years. Um, and the, the whole soul wanting to leave thing, yeah, definitely. Um, so I can speak to, to this that, you know, this these sources that I'm sharing with you guys, they, they know what they're talking about. <laughs> um, all right, so let's move on to, um, and, and let me just, clarify for the record that again I was never full-blown like anorexic in the sense of like like refusing to eat but it was just this like lack of appetite and I would go without eating or I would forget about eating or things like that and I never went like too long without food but it was just kind of a thing that I was known for so it's not like I ever did any like damage to my body or anything like that or became malnourished or anything like that. Um, you know, I, I think these things can be on a spectrum, and I think I was on the light end of, of the spectrum. But I'm just making the point that I can attest that, you know, this reference guide knows what it's talking about. All right, and bulimia. Mistaken self-image, inability to accept self, feelings of no control over oneself, unsatisfied needs never met, feelings of self-contempt, feels unable to measure up to others expectations need for spiritual growth okay maybe i should have gone over what these things are first although i think m most of us know what this is so I'll, I'll do that now medical bulimia is a continuous abnormal hunger cycle of binging and purging so people who um fall under this spectrum or category they vomit they they con they're constantly eating but then they will constantly vomit up their food. So their their body's never really getting to fully digest and take in nutrients and so on and so forth. And their throats become pretty sore and raw from all the acid that from 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 bleh, from vomiting all the time. Um, and their mouth, their teeth also get affected by the acid from vomiting all the time. Um, and so if you see someone who's, you know, usually like always going to the restroom after they eat, you might want to check that out. Anorexia, I think is more well, slightly more, more well known uh, is a chronic lack of, well, according to this book, a chronic lack of appetite for food caused by a poor body image and extreme fear of obesity. It doesn't always have to include that. Like I said, I think it's kind of a, a spectrum. Uh, both cause serotonin levels to lower, leading to a chemical deficiency. Now that, I think I may need healing for. And I think I've gotten some um, prayer for... Uh, in Splunkna, I've gotten prayer for DNA repair, and I think some chemical imbalances. But maybe I'll pray for myself on this one. Um, Alright, so anyway, going back up here to the root cause. Uh, self-hatred, self-rejection, guilt... Spirit of suicide, spirit of perfection, and spirit of fear, okay? Um, and as you can see, you know, this source and this source, they kind of affirm each other. And so that shows that God is revealing the same things to different people in the body of Christ, different predecessors. Um, and again, you know, these are all things that can be addressed as demons, 
Um, but what I keep forgetting to mention in these videos is that, you know, usually we make an agreement with a lie or we, we, or we um, make a vow and that is what gives these demons whatever access they have, okay? And so the prayerful steps to freedom is pretty much always relevant here. No matter what we're talking about, you always want to try to identify what lies have been agreed with, what vows have been made, because that's what needs to be renounced. And then you can revoke the rights and claims that were given to, to the demons. Okay, scripture. Psalm 139.14, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20, what know ye not your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which you have of God, and ye are not your own. I guess we're doing King James here. You were bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are God's. Which someone who's struggling with this, I don't think that's verse, that verse is really helpful. I think it's just going to make them... I mean, it's, it's their decision as to whether they choose conviction and or shame and guilt, but I think, I don't know, I, I just don't think that that's really helpful much, but anyway, all right, so we've gone over what it is, ministering, okay, bring them to a recognition of, of, of their self-hatred and self-rejection, uh, their sense of guilt, their perfectionism and their spirit uh, and, and the spirit of suicide if it applies they need to forgive themselves and I'm sure others and maybe even God repent for the sin of self-hatred self-rejection repent of partnering with all these demons re re repent of partnering with guilt repent of partnering with suicidal thoughts um, and regarding bulimia specifically, uh, repent for overindulgence, also known as gluttony, or being insatiable. Um, break any generational curses, if, if applicable. Uh, break the spirit of break off the spirit of fear. We don't break demons, okay? Let, let me just clarify that. I don't like how they have this phrased. We don't break spirits, okay? We don't break demons of, of or we don't break spirits or demons which are evil spirits only god has the ability to do that okay what we what this should say is is break off the spirit of fear and really how you do that is you have to identify what gave it access in the first place what lie did you agree with what vow did you make you have to renounce that in jesus's name and then you revoke the rights and claims that you gave to the spirit of fear so i will put the uh prayerful steps to freedom below because that covers all bases and it, it will walk you through uh, minister unconditional love and acceptance of god and give a father's blessing um, come, in Jesus' name, command the serotonin levels to come into quote-unquote normalcy. Uh, command the body to line up with God's perfect design and call forth restoration for every area of the body that has been affected. Now, people who are full-blown anorexic, um, that's where, you know, they may have ulcers in various internal organs because... You know, the, um, I forget what type of acid it is in our stomach, but eventually that acid will, you know, begin to eat the lining of your stomach and other organs and so on and so forth. Um, and so that's what they're, they're talking about here. Um, Holy Spirit, is there anything you want to add? Um, okay, right. So going back to our little tiny reference guide here, um, it says, you know, feels totally unable to please parent, usually the mother. Okay. Um, this person very well may have issues with their, with their mother. They need to forgive the, their, their mother and maybe their father as well. You know, um, so as usual, these are all things that need to be done. You need to examine who do you need to forgive? Who do you need to release to God? Um, is there a generational stronghold? Does your, your mother and your grandmother and your aunt and everybody, are they all struggling with this as well? Or living like this, struggling implies that they're trying to overcome it. Not everybody necessarily is. 
Um, so these are all things that, that need to be, you know, examined. Okay. So the first step to all this stuff is what? Self-examination. Okay. All right. I will put the prayerful steps to freedom below and I bless you all in Jesus' name.